Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to give you a fake freckle tutorial. So I'm gonna start with a very clean base and kind of walk you through what I do whenever I wanna create fake freckles. Now, I've made a video like this in the past, but it's from, I think, 20, either 2015 or 2016, and so it's really outdated, and I found some new techniques and new products that I like to use that make it a little bit easier. I personally like having like a lot of freckles on my face, and so having to individually draw each one on with a pencil brush just isn't realistic. I don't have that kind of time. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need is some type of paint that's safe for your face. So when I researched this, I came across watercolor paint, or if it's around Halloween, you can go to Party City or like a Halloween store and buy brown cream paint. Don't use acrylic paint or oil-based paint on your face. It's not good for your face. So I purchased, this is called Academy Watercolor. I got it from Michaels, they're these little tiny tubes. This is called Raw Umber. It looks pretty light. It is a little bit darker than I would recommend. I personally, even though on camera right now I'm looking at the viewfinder, my face looks really white. I naturally have olive skin, and so like you can see that like you know my shoulder is darker than my face. The next thing you want, I don't I think these are called stipple sponges. I'm not really sure, but they look like this. It kind of reminds me of like a sea urchin, but the point of this is it has a bunch of like divots and crevices that help create the freckles and so I I think I got my first one at a Halloween store and then I bought this one at Michael's. Next you're gonna want some flat surface to mix your paint on so I honestly just use like the flat part of my highlighter. So first you're gonna put the paint onto whatever flat surface you just want to use a tiny little bit and then once you do that you're gonna add some type of water you can just use tap water I like to use makeup setting spray and then you're gonna wait a little bit um, I you know wait about a minute to just let it set a little bit because if you don't then it's too watery and it kind of just like runs down your face. Next you're gonna take this and you're going to take your stipple sponge and you're just going to Put the product onto your sponge and then I like to work from the center out because the first little press that I do is usually the most harsh. And once it's on your skin you do want to work pretty quickly before it dries but if you notice that it's already dried after you've done this you can just take a makeup wipe. If you notice that it's too dark just use a makeup wipe and pat over the product. Don't wipe because then it will take away the actual freckles and that's kind of smoothed out the harsh lines. Now you're gonna do the other side. Okay, so now the freckles are on. I like this method because it kind of puts the freckles in random places and it looks a little bit, in my opinion, it looks a little bit more natural than physically placing each freckle on your face. I like to just focus on the cheek area and then the bridge of my nose. Sometimes I'll put freckles on my forehead, but for this look, I don't really want to. Okay, so from here, you can do your usual face makeup. I personally don't wear foundation, which is why I did this first. If you're a person who wants to wear foundation, I would recommend doing the foundation first and setting your foundation and then doing this. But you wanna wait to do your bronzer. You wanna do your bronzer after because it helps blend out these freckles and not make them as harsh. So you're gonna take whatever um, brush you use for your bronzer. And I just like to do like a light dust over the spots with the freckles. And then I go in and I actually bronze the sides of my face. And then from here I use makeup setting spray and just set the whole face. This is the finished look. It takes me about five minutes to do this. Um, I've got it down pretty well. But if you're just starting out, remember that when you use this kind of paint, if you're noticing that the color is really, really harsh or really dark, make sure you add water to your watercolor. It took me about three tries to figure out how to use this product without it looking really weird. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one.